What's up guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. We're doing how to edit videos for YouTube using an online video editing software slash video editing website, if you will. In video, these guys are the name of the game in online video creation. I endorse them above all other online video editors because they're better. Let's check it out. So here we are on NVIDIA. First off, NVIDIA is going to be linked down below in the description. If you want to follow through, which is what I recommend, to be honest, uh, you can click the link in the description and actually come over to the website and, uh, you know, basically follow through everything I do. But what they do is give you a nice variety of different approaches. So you have not only the blank template, which is the one we're going to be exploring today, because essentially it's a more sort of stereotypical YouTube video. We're going to have our clip. We're going to put B-roll over the top, even a lower third or two, animate it in and out, all in in video. So we're going to build a blank template. But you've also got pre-made templates, which are totally usable as well. And they come in different varieties. You've got the story presets. You've got landscape presets. You've got, you know, Instagram feed presets where, you know, it's just, it's square. So pretty much they've tried to build a bunch of different pre-made premium assets for you guys to be able to utilize in different projects. So feel free to obviously utilize any of the premium templates, which could be dope. Or the approach I'm going to show you guys today is going to be the blank template, right? Basically, I would advise you guys just to pick whichever uh, sort of method is going to suit you. If you're creating stuff for online social media, the templates could be perfect. If you're creating stuff, for, you know, from scratch, you might just want that blank template because you have the freedom to create it as you want. But overall, in video is essentially the best spot for creating videos on the internet. It's entirely online, which is just sort of a bonus for my slow computer users. I know I got some of you guys. Gives you access to a whole bunch of premium stock footage and stock music. So you've got a full, you know, audio library in here, full video library of stock footage. Also, you've got all the premium templates, which I just walked you through. Super easy to use as I'm about to show you. Let's load up the blank template while I'm listing some of these things off and actually start walking stuff through. And by the end of this, you'll see how quick the render times are. I mean, depending on how long your project is, it really doesn't matter. Even if it's on the long end, we're talking max five to 10 minute export times. And, uh, you know, emails you a download link right away. But when you actually go ahead and load up the editor, I've clicked a blank template, right? I'm here. More or less, this is what you're going to be greeted with. Now, real quick, all of your actual media and your composition stuff is going to be over here on the left. Like you said, you got your media, your music, your text, all of your sort of stuff to insert, your drag and drop, your resources, basically, they're all going to be over here on the left. Obviously, your preview window is going to be here in the middle. Your timeline is going to be down here. And actually, all your sort of edit stuff is going to be over here. So you see, if we click the text, instantly it loads us up here. We could customize the text, say, you know, hi, guys, whatever the case may be. Press save, uh, you know, change the colors, drop shadow, whatever. But that's just a demonstration. Ideally, what I want to do is actually delete the, uh, the text because... It's not necessarily useful for me right now. I'm going to just go ahead and literally click it and press delete because I want to make stuff from scratch. I want to actually direct your attention down here to uploads. Now, I have actually pre-uploaded stuff just to make this tutorial run nice and smooth. And more or less what I've got is a sort of basic necessities of a YouTube video. I've got me right here talking to the camera. I have overlay B-roll, basically visual representation to put over the top to match what I'm saying. And I've also got a lower third, which is actually stagnant, which means we're going to use in videos features to animate that in and animate that out. So I'm really excited about that. And I want to actually go ahead and, uh, you know, and basically give it a shot. So let's drag and drop my talking clip in, drag it to straight up the spot right there. It's going to fill the timeline down here, as you can see right here. And it looks like we could drag to the beginning. And I actually just want to go ahead and actually play this for you guys real quick so you can hear what I'm saying and you could see what we're going to do. All right. So let's go ahead and play this. Let's see what it's looking like. And um, we can more or less start putting stuff over the top and actually edit our video into a legitimate YouTube video. Let's play. Hey, what's up, guys? This is what the setup looks like from the other way around. You've been you've been looking at me from that way. Now we're looking this way. Check out the lower third, the lower thirds for creator dashboard. Brand new. Perfect. Creator perfect. Hub. So I'm pretty much giving a call to action to bring the lower third in at around the 13 second mark, which we've got it there. We're going to animate it in in a second that I've started recently. Also, if you didn't know much about me, I'm Jack. I'm a videographer. I shoot videos mainly in clubs. I've, uh, I've been known to do a, little, a couple music videos every now. So those right there are two cues for me to put in B roll over the top. I have B roll of me filming in a club and B roll of a music video. And then 
And uh, overall, I am a uh, creator, as you probably know if you're watching this video, and this right here is my sample YouTube video that we've created together. Perfect. So more or less, it is a talking head clip of me talking to the camera, just like a normal YouTube video would be. And I have, for example's sake, given us a couple cues of where to bring, you know, stuff in that would be in a normal YouTube video. So without further ado, let's waste no time. Let's start it. Let's drag and drop our lower third in. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping. Now we want to put it as a layer. We don't want to replace. Click layer. Drag that down here to the bottom. And actually go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger. Maybe around there, right? Now also what I want to do is go ahead and... um rewatch the video for a split second and just see the exact second that this actually comes in on hey what's up guys this is what the setup looks like from the other way around you've been you've been looking at me from that way now we're looking this way check out the lower third the lo so i say check out the lower third at about nine seconds right so we could go over here in the timeline and literally just find nine seconds which is right there and actually just go ahead and get our get our um our lower third as we see right here and what we can actually do is we could just drag that over to start at around the nine second mark right which essentially means that before nine seconds it will not come in and after nine seconds it'll be there also we can click on it make sure to click on it and open up our edit window over here on the right and we could literally go to image animation and click in the in animation and we go down here and literally just get a slide from the from slide from the right probably Right? And then the in place animation, none. Make sure you have none so it's not doing anything while, uh, you know, it, it transitions. And then just transition it out again. Let's go over here. Let's go slide, slide to the right. And just like that, if we play this video now, we've animated in a lower third. Hey, what's up, guys? This is what the setup looks like from the other way around. You've been you've been looking at me from that way. Now we're looking this way. So check it out, check right? Out the lower third, the lower thirds for Boom. Creator Dashboard, brand new. That came on Creator just as I wanted it to. Recently, also, if you didn't know much about me, I'm Jack. so it looks like we need to bring it out now as well. So just like that, we've got the lower third. It comes in, and now we can bring it out as well. To bring it out, it is uh, it's literally just just scroll over in the um in the actual timeline but we could actually go ahead and handle that next all right we'll, we'll, we'll handle that as we as we go through it right now i just want to listen and find the cue for the next piece that we want to overlay i it think it's going to be the b-roll third the lower third now we're looking this way check out the lower third the lower thirds for creator lower dashboard. thirds Brand looking great creator hub that i've started recently we're just waiting to hear the cue of the i'm a videographer i film clubs that's where we want to bring our b-roll in also, if you didn't know much about me, I'm Jack. I'm a videographer. Boom. So around the 18 second mark, we can go over and we could drag and drop our club footage in. And uh, we can click add as layer. And it's going to say something about the frame rate, which is not a problem. The frame rate is different. Yes, 100%. However, um, this is definitely not a, a massive problem here. And what I literally want to do is just drag it over to come in at the 18 second mark, right? And also, I want to drag it to fill the screen. So more or less, not only have we put it on the timeline, I'm sure you can see that, but we want it to be there. However, also, I want to video animation it. I want to go in, and I want to fade this in. I want to fade it in, and I also want to fade it out, right? Just to have something, some small little animation that's going to give us, you know, something happening, something that just mixes stuff up, all right? So right now, on our layers over here, I'll have a look, right? We're building stuff up. We've got media one, which is me. We got media two, which is the obviously the lower third. And we also have, if I just go ahead and zoom out, we should start to see stuff a little bit, right? We also have media three, which is the overlaid video. As you can see, it appears in the timeline. And what I can actually go ahead and do is just drag over media two, which is our lower third, to get off the screen before the before the actual um, next video comes in. So let's actually play this. What we've done is we've added a lower third that comes in, and now we've just made it go out as well. And we've got B-roll. Let's have a look at the timing and what's basically happening. Hey, what's up, guys? This is what the setup looks like from the other way around. You've been you've been looking at me from that way. Now we're looking this way. Check out the lower third. The lower third's for Lower third looks great. Brand new creator hub that i've started recently also if you didn't know much about me i'm jack 
I'm a videographer. Literally videos, perfect timing. Gloves. That was I've, just a total, a, little, a, couple, a total guess of timing, and we nailed it perfectly. Music videos every now and then. So it's looking like around the 23 second mark, I'm saying about some music videos. So now I can literally go over, and again, just in the timeline, I'm just finding the 23 second mark, and I'm going to drag and drop my music video footage. I'm going to press add as layer. I'm going to press OK. It's going to pop up. I'm actually going to drag it over again to find the 23 second mark around there, right? I'm going to make it big because it shrinks it down. Not a problem at all, my friend. Make it big. I'm also going to go to video animation. I'm going to fade it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and fade it out. And then we've just literally gotten that right there. And also, I want to go ahead and just probably, to reduce video length, use trim on the right panel. No problem. No problem. What I think I might do is is go ahead and just leave that how it is right there. Even drag it over a little bit so that it comes in a little bit earlier. And then also, what I'm going to do next is add a lower third to, to, um, to kind of exit the video as well. But before I do that, I just want to play it and have a look at everything all tied in together nicely. All our three elements, our lower third and our two pieces of B-roll, now overlaid. Let's have a look. Hey, what's up, guys? This is what the setup looks like from the other way around. You've been you've been looking at me from that way. Now we're looking this way. Check out the lower third. The lower third's lower third is looking solid. Brand new creator hub that I've started recently. Also, nice. if you didn't know much about me, I'm Jack. I'm a videographer. Perfect I shoot timing. Videos mainly in clubs. I've uh, I've been known to do a little a couple music videos every now and then. Yes. And uh, overall, I am a uh, creator. As you probably know if you're watching this video, Winner. and this right here is my sample YouTube video that we've created together. Amazing. Literally 10 out of 10. There's just one final thing I want to do. I want to press Control C and Control V on layer 2. Duplicate it, right? Duplicate layer 2. It's now at the very top of our layers. I want to drag it over here to the end. I want to get media, media 4, sort of see the timing of that. It looks like media 4 ends around the 20. Eight second mark that's what I want to do as well I want to end the media for or drag it over so it's sort of starting or ending around the 28 second mark and then our lower third our final lower third comes in around the 28 second mark now guys let's play this start to finish you've bared with me you've put up with me we've 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 built this project together I just want you to see what this looks like start to finish I know it's a lot of replaying but that's the editing process people I replay my video a hundred times my friend replays it 101. Let's have a listen. Hey, what's up, guys? This is what the setup looks like from the other way around. You've been you've been looking at me from that way. Now we're looking this way. Check out the lower third. The lower third's for Creator Dash. 10 out of 10. new creator hub that I've started recently. Also, if you didn't know much about me, I'm Jack. Boom, perfect. I'm a videographer. Amazing. I shoot videos mainly in clubs. I've, uh, I've been known to do a little a couple music videos every now and then. Winner. And uh, overall... I am a uh, creator, as you probably know if you're watching this Winner. video, and this right here is my sample Perfect YouTube timing. video that we've created together. Amazing timing, literally 10 out of 10. Guys, if you've, uh, if you've bared with me right there, we've created an awesome project together, which is a demonstration. My whole point of this is to demonstrate to you how simple in video really is to, uh, to put something like this together. Let's preview and export up at the top because I'm happy with it. It's looking like this is actually going to give us a good quality preview. Hey, what's up, guys? Or actually, what we're going to be doing here is 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 probably just skipping this preview, thinking about it, because I realize we've literally just been getting the same preview the whole time. We just just watched a preview there. Press export, and now basically comes the uh, the end all be all. What actually happens now in the export process? How long will it take? We have pressed the export button. I'm looking at the screen. It says processing 2%. What I'm actually going to go ahead and do for you guys is find my phone and go ahead and put a timer on. And we'll see how long it actually takes. Stopwatch has been activated, as you see right there. Three seconds in. I will report back to you guys when the video has exported fully and we're able to watch it. And we'll see how long it took. 11, 12, 13 seconds on the clock. We'll be back. Three minutes and 30 seconds. The processing says 80%. It is my assumption that any second now it will be done. That's just my assumption based on the fact that they also emailed me uh, to say your video is done processing and is now ready. So boom, just like that, it appeared. It looks like the email was a little bit ahead of the uh, of the actual site. 
absolutely perfect we can literally just hover over and click the download button and it will start downloading just like that it looks like it's 23.2 memobytes and that's a small file size for the uh for the length of video they were dealing with so it's actually right now go ahead and click this and actually watch it together see what it's looking like in full quality three two one play hey what's up guys this is what the setup looks like from the other way around you've been you've been looking at me from that way now we're looking this way check out the lower third the lower thirds for Cue the lower third brand new creator hub that i've started we're blocking the lower third also, uh oh if you didn't know much about me i'm jack i'm a videographer perfect videos mainly in clubs amazing i've uh i've been known to do a little a couple music videos every now and perfect then. perfect and, uh, quality's overall, looking solid i am a uh, creator as you probably know if you're watching this video and this right here is my sample amazing youtube video that we've created together 10 out of 10 and that right there, I, I I know my camera was just blocking the lower third. That, that was kind of a bit of a fail, right? But as we see, everything's looking really nice, guys. That right there is in video, and more or less, it is an absolute deal. In fact, I want to switch over to the other camera and list off a couple features for you guys. And that right there is in video, the online video editing software slash video editing website for making YouTube videos. You can also use it for freelance projects for honestly the uses are unlimited look at the site see if it's applicable to you if it is get it down below in the description use my code for 25 percent off and uh more or less get to it and uh yeah tell me down below what you guys will be using it for and uh, overall what it could help you with in the future thank you guys for tuning in shout out to InVideo for sponsoring today's video have a nice day guys and i'll see you in an upcomer coming up sweet